My grandfather, Mayor David, was born at 1923 in the town of Berlad, which lies on the banks of the eponymous Berlad River in eastern Moldavia, to Moshe and Sophie. His father was a general merchant and his mother was a housewife. The town of Berlin was home at the time to approximately 4,000 Jews who were the subject of first persecution. In the period between the two world wars, Berlin was the center of pogroms. The last one occurring a few months before his birth in December 1922, when Romanian students went wild and destroyed Jewish homes and property in response to a Jewish hobby display. A single Jew who injured a Romanian student in self-defense, had his whole family arrested and his mother tortured to death. My grandfather attended a state boys-only school for both Jews and non-Jews. While he studied in the same school with Romanians, he describes having no Romanian friends, but does not recall any anti-Semitic provocations. In 1939, the Jews were expelled from the high schools and he couldn't continue his studies. In Berlin, there were two Zionist youth movements, Beitar and Hanoa Tsirni. My grandfather belonged to the latter. In the movement, he heard lectures about philosophy, religion, culture and Zionism. He and his fellow North Zioni members preached Zionism to Jews and met with prominent Zionist figures, such as Edov Cohen and Abba Bardichev. The group he and his friends established in a North Zioni, or Ken, was called Dor Hadash, New Generation. He and my grandmother were both members of the North Zioni. His brother was a member of Hashomer Tzair, a Zionist communist group. His activities in the youth movement stopped in 1941, when the Second World War reached Romania. Berlad was a, rather a case of a soft treatment of Jews, even though businesses were confiscated and their radios were taken away. The cause of this soft treatment might be, might be bribes given by the Jewish community to the mayor and the local chief of police. My grandfather heard of the war in the radio until the radios were confiscated from the Jews. The newspapers were anti-Semitic and didn't report news pertaining to Jews, and the community was relatively cut off. They have not heard of the Kristallnacht, for example, and he did not hear of the Holocaust until the end of the war. After the war began, Jews between the ages of 18 and 45 were registered by the authorities for military walks, and my grandfather was drafted to work for the military. He was sent to Chisinau in Moldova, which was Soviet territory occupied by German and Romanian forces of the Axis. He worked as an electrician, helping in the reconstruction of occupied homes for Axis officers' residents, he was paid in allowance and was treated good, even sleeping with the soldiers in their own quarters. He worked there until December 1941 and returned home. In May 1943, he was sent to a large labor camp in Balta, Transnistria, now a part of the Ukraine. He was supposed to serve there for six months, but he worked there until March 1944 when a Russian offensive scared the officers, soldiers and workers away. After the end of the war, as per his original plans, being a part of the Zionist youth movement, he tried to immigrate to Israel in September 1947. He was arrested by the British, however, and was put in a detention camp in Cyprus for a year and a half. He eventually arrived to Israel in February 1949 and lived in Haifa since then almost until his death. He worked as an accountant in Hazera, one of Israel's largest seed concerns, eventually becoming the company's chief accountant. In Israel, he had two children, one of whom is my father, Ilan. He was married to Sarah, Fika, a fellow member of the Zionist movement, whom he married after the war in Romania. He died of old age in Israel in 2011.